curator Henry Duffy on gold tones and pigeon management. Dr. Duffy wearing a hard hat next to a gold-colored statue. Two seated park rangers. I think um, the one that stands out in my mind is the Sherman Monument in Manhattan. Um, it's down at the uh, bottom of Central Park. Um, and it's a wonderful, quite a stirring uh, equestrian piece of uh, General Sherman um, um, led by a figure of victory. At one time, the Central Park Conservancy was um, re-gilding that piece, and they asked me to come and serve on a committee to help them figure out what they should do for that. And it's, again, more involved than it seems. You think, well, you just put gold leaf on it, but it's, it's more complicated than that. Um, because it's a big piece. It's a very large piece. And it's outdoors, and it's got taxi cabs and horse-drawn carriages and people and buildings and source all around it. Pigeons. Pigeons. A lot of pigeons. Um, so um, we had to work out a way to try to keep the pigeons off without damaging the piece. tried an electric current. That didn't work. Um, I think it zapped a couple of pigeons, but it didn't, it, 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 it wasn't working. It was kind of uh, un, un, untrustworthy. Um, so we ended up with um, little tiny spikes on the highest parts that you can see if you look for them, but in general you don't see them. And they're just big enough that if the <laughs> bird lands on it. He doesn't like it. It's pointy on his feet. He doesn't like it. So he flies away. Um, and, it, and it has helped. Um, but there was scaffolding up around it, so I got to see it much closer than anybody normally does. And there were things that were remarkable to me about it. Uh, the whole horse is covered in a pattern that mimics fur. And from the ground, you don't really notice that, but the whole thing is covered. And it's a vast area, so they must have had some kind of a rocker or something uh, uh, to, to do that, because you, you, cu you couldn't stand there with a little tool and draw fur. Uh, that would make a man go crazy. So they must have had a, a tool to do that. Well, that was interesting. Um, one of the buttons on the general is undone, which, again, you don't see from the ground, but, but that's interesting. Um, the thing that I th thought was humorous is that in the horse's rump, in the horse's back end, there's a little trap door. And um, it's kind of comical. You don't see that from the ground. But that is so you can get inside. And they opened up, and I was able to see the inside, which is really fascinating. Because, of course, St. Gardens was working before welding. So you wonder, how do these vast monuments stay together? And they used a system um, in which there's a, there's, a, there's a curve and a claw which go together, which fit together. Um, and then there's a bolt uh, that goes through it. And it's a carriage bolt. I mean, there's a massive carriage bolt. Um, but there's a bolt, and it's just um, screwed together. It's it, it just got a, a, a nut and a bolt. Um, and so it's, that's what's holding it together. And then you don't see that because on the surface they'll put a patina which covers the cracks so you don't see it. Um, what we were doing is re-gilding. The gilding had um, vanished. It was there originally. It had worn away, so it had turned a kind of a greenish color. And people liked that, but it wasn't what was meant. So uh, in the 1980s, the uh, Central Park Conservancy regilded it, and it being Manhattan, it caused an uproar. Um, people thought it was way too shiny and didn't like it. It was too bright. So now they were back in 2013 redoing it and trying to figure out how to do it again. So this time we had samples of different tones, different colors of gold that we would put 
on the horse and on the man and then stand down below and we came through a day, the first thing in the morning, at noon, in the evening, at night, different times to see what these colors looked like um, to see. Um, and we realized, again, the complexity that you don't think of what artists are thinking of, but he has to be aware of these things when he's presenting, when he says gilded. He, it can't be just slap gold on it and walk away. It has to be um, how does it actually fit? How does it work? And we did finally find a, a kind of a reddish um, tone that seemed to work in all lighting um, conditions and seemed to work fine. Um, so that's the one that we put up. And again, it being Manhattan, most people liked it. Some people didn't. Um, but sorry, right. um, it's 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 there and it's it's it's, it's doing fine. But that was the one that I really enjoyed the most. Arrowhead Emblem of the National Park Service. St. Gaudens National Historical Park. Your national park for the arts. Dr. Duffy wearing a hard hat next to a gold-colored statue. 